Hello everyone, thanks to the power of the internet, I get to talk with you all, and because I'm so excited, this is another installment of Stokea Got Something I Enjoy, and now I must tell you about it. I'm talking about Glory, he's back, the big fish, my beloved is back, my son. Uh, but for those who don't know, this is uh, Maelstrom's other form, Ezel gets a bigger scissors, Probably goes platinum. And Kaiser becomes so bloody, he becomes the blood. But they're not revealed yet. And I don't care about them. It's all Maelstorm. Glory to him. For those of you who don't know, this is what he does. During your turn, if your rear or soul has Blue Storm Dragon Maelstorm, which is the original. Where is he in this deck? He's somewhere. He's in here. He has to be. Uh, this unit gets all of their act abilities, and all of your front row get plus 5k for each blue storm armada in the order zone. That's no big deal. We got the grade 3. It's a classic. Uh, and when your blue storm dragon maelstrom attacks a vanguard, until end of that turn, that unit gets another plus 5 if it's the fourth more or more battle, you draw a card and choose one of your opponent's rear guard and retire it. That's pretty good. And the piece de resistance is, of course, when your unit with Maelstrom, so this or your rear guard, and its card name attacks, you can rest two Blue Storm Armada, which is why I'm running four. Uh, in the Order Zone, your opponent cannot call Sentinels from hands to Guardian until end of that battle. So, not as fun as Blagmire because Elementaria still exists in the format. But it's such a nice little extra boost that the deck needed. Also, give me a second. And we're back. I noticed that CFA did not want to load base Maelstrom into the deck. So, I had to make a few edits to bring it back. But what does this do? Discard a card from your hand. Choose a unit with only Aqua Force for its clan. Or a Tear Dragon from Soul. Call it a rear. And that rear guard that just gets called gets the red text when this unit attacks. If your opponent's vanguard is grade 3 or greater, if it's the first battle, counter blast one, stand it. Pretty cool. It's why Inlet was running a lot of the early builds because you could still restand it. And you still get that fourth attack draw. Pretty neat. But also, if it's the fourth or more battle, Draw a card and choose one of your opponents and retire it. Because these are only Vanguard effects, it's kind of why Glory is making it do a little bit more. And you get some nice attack benefit from it. Outside of that, you're still running the based ride line because it's just classic and helps Maelstorm. You're still doing Wheel Assault because at the end of the battle it boosted. If you got Maelstrom, which you should as your Vanguard Soul Blast 1, choose two of your rear guards and swap their positions. So you could have something behind your Vanguard, behind Wheel Assault. Well, not uh, Wheel Assault, but have a column of like Grade 3, Grade 3. So you could Maelstrom, Maelstrom, and just swap them. Pretty cool. You're also doing Tidal Assault, because when it attacks, Soul Blast. Choose one of your Vanguard, gets 5k. Uh, but more importantly, at the end of the battle, that it attacked... Counter Blast 1, as long as your Vanguard is standing. Stand this unit. Not too bad, especially when you get Power Boost to everything. Uh, not all people played Brave Shooter, but honestly you should. <coughs> 5k for each Blue Storm Armada, which becomes really nice when you really want to just play more of them now more than ever. End of the battle. Choose your other Rear Guards in the same column as it. Counter Blast 1 swap. You'll notice that's a lot of what Aqua Force does for those who didn't play it before or haven't touched this deck before. You you like swapping just to get those extra attacks in. But hey, new support. We got a new tier knight. Uh, continuous if you have a vanguard with only Aqua Force in its clan. This is also Aqua Force. That's pretty cool. That's for premium, I guess. And then auto, when this unit 
is placed on rear. If you got a Vanguard with only Aqua Force for its clan, look at top seven cards. You get either a Maelstrom, so you can Persona Ride Search, or base one. Don't forget, it's still useful here. Or a Blue Storm Armada. Reveal it, add it to hand, shuffle, and then if you reveal a card, choose a card from your hand and put it into soul or discard it. So if you note, know, that's why you really don't mind, you know, Tidal Assault or more importantly, Wheel Assault doing the Soul Blast because you just soul charge something. Hopefully it's good. Where is he? There he is. And of course, like everything else here, which is why it's super nice. End of the battle at attack, great throw greater. Counter blast one, choose one of your rear guards, swap. So with this setup, you should always be getting those extra attacks, doing some swapping here, there, and everywhere. Of course, my regalia of choice is Bracing Adel, uh, Angel Ladder, because if anything gets retired on your field, you're going net negative so hard, it hurts. It physically hurts. Now, you might be asking yourself, who's this person over here? Well, she was released in uh, Booster 7. Karn Search Strike Brave Shooter, if it's behind your Vanguard, when your Rearguard attacks, if it is the first battle of this turn, it gets a 5k. So if you note, this doesn't have a problem, but if this swings first, I guess if you're boosting with Wheel Assault, it doesn't really matter, but if you're just straight up swinging with Tidal Assault, these aren't hitting Vanguard numbers. So as long as you got Brave Shooter, it helps because that 5k is also until end of turn. So it's so nice with Tidal Assault because you swing, stand it back up. It's still a 15k when you attack. So I honestly recommend like swing Tidal, stand, like attack with Brave Shooter. You don't have to switch, but you can. Uh, it's a counter blast. If you don't want to pay the counter blast with your standing title attack, boost it with wheel swap. Like I'll, I'll try to find it in the simulator just to make it a little bit more easier to understand. But like swing with titles, restand title. Attack with Brave Shooter, switch it with uh, Maelstrom, bring Maelstrom up for first, so that's already two attacks. Uh, Tidal Assault Swing, so once again 15k, boosted by 8, 23, Tidal Assault, uh, switch Brave Shooter with Consort, so you're having a 7k booster with your Maelstrom. Which you think would just be 20, but no, because of glory, you're also getting plus 5. So these numbers were actually adjusted, because I thought it was just uh, the blue storm that was getting it. So just assuming you only have one uh, armada, that's 5k, because you're obviously 4 attacking more when that maelstrom attacks, that's 10k. So you're actually swinging 30, 35, because you really want to get two of these things out and about. And you might be asking yourself, if you don't run Bracing Angel Ladder, what should I run? Run a Blitz Order. Uh, I wouldn't honestly recommend Evergreen. I would probably do the other one. Oh, I'm looking at grade threes. It's a uh, grade two, right? Yeah. I would either run Twin Cast because it's nice shield value for guarding with it and then you can soul charge it from your hand, soul blast it, and then get the drop effect as well. But Union in the Sky also works because you're not really touching energy in this deck. Many people will probably try to run the grade one that energy charges two and does more with Tear Dragon, but I don't quite think you should do that because I, I just think it's uh, sheep's, you know, it's bait. Don't, don't fall for it. But Union in the Sky is one of those uh, energy ones where you draw a card, remove it. Hey, your Vanguard gets plus 15 until end of the battle. Pretty cool. 
So let me save this deck real quickly, just in case I didn't, but I'm going to pause right here so I don't dox myself. Alright, let's get a deck shuffle. Two, three, four, five. I'm realizing I get four more cards in this. And I don't know why it didn't give me that. So let me just real quickly deck editor just to tell you what you should add more of. Yes. Honestly, Maelstrom should be a four of. That's one extra. Uh, this can be a three of. This is definitely like a three or a four of. If you really want some spice. Uh, you want C called Brave Shooter. Uh, it only works if you don't have a G zone. Really nice. From your hand, if your Vanguard is grade 3 or greater, discard it. Uh, from your soul or drop, return uh, from the ride deck. So it's basically one of the cats. But look at top 7. Choose up to a grade 3 or greater with a different card name from your Vanguard. Put it into your hand. If you didn't... Uh, Put this card back into hand. And also when it's a guardian. If your drop has 4 more cards. It gets plus 5k shield. And if your opponent has a G zone. You bind a grade 3 or greater card from soul. And it gets another 10k. Shouldn't really account for that. But hey it's a 10k ha from hand anyway. So I would do that of a 2 of. Because it searches out. Base mail storm. And storm of judgment. And then I would just add in one tier knight uh, Ikertals because when it's placed, you got a Vanguard with only Aqua Force, discard a card from hand, search your deck or drop for a Blue Storm Armada, add it to hand. Why? These things can and will end in your damage. If you heal him out, he brings them back. Don't try to revive him, you just gotta get lucky. Alright, now let's do some testing. Sorry for my inadequacies. I'm not used to CFA, but Vang Pro doesn't have glory and I'm too excited. One, two, three, four. I question if I even shuffle my hand, like my deck. Look at that. Heal trigger, two persona, bracing, and consort. No, this would be a five back or just four and keep consort in the hand. Like, come on. One, two, three, four. All right, we're just gonna... We're gonna pretend that never happened. I'm going to click shuffle deck a lot more times. This could just be CFA, and why you don't really see me on it, because CFA hates... Yeah, you know what? Fine. Sure. Sure, buddy, old pal, old friend, old mine. Let's go first. Let's try to at least show a test hand. All right. Cool. Drop. We are going to ride. Yep, we're going to get the energy. It's not really going to matter, but hey, when we rode upon this, search your deck for a blue star monocard. card. Add it to hand. We'll at least always have the guarantee, too. Uh, but first, opponent's battle phase, damage title, our ride phase, draw. This just keeps on getting better. I'm going to pretend my opponent doesn't have anything that we need bracing ladder for. No, no, no. Back to the top of the deck. People should question why I use this accursed site. Alright. Where doth be Blue Storm Armada? We're going to shuffle the deck. And remove power. Because we never got that grit. 
Uh, there's not much we can do with this hand. I'm not doing a good job showing this off. Uh, but swing. Check. Cool. Our opponent's turn. Uh, damage. Damage. I hate this game. Alright, stand. Draw. I promise you the deck is better than what I'm showing. It's probably not the world's most competitive thing, but I promise you those four extra cards make a difference because you're not going to see trash like this. Hopefully, when I ride on this, I can look at the top seven and get a tier knight or anything with aqua force. Because I don't want to show I have a heal trigger. I would like to look at top seven. Title. Thank you. Yeah, we're just going to take title. I bought decked him. I'm an idiot. But that's fine. Because we can shift left to get him. See, I'm learning. Learning. Uh, well, I don't really have a tear dragon for the order, so it would be a very much waste to just play that now. But we're going to do it just to show a little bit more aggression because we're behind on a lot of things. All right. Choose one of your rear guards. It gets plus 5k until end of turn for each of your other storm. We don't have any of that. But hey, guess who gets plus 5 power because there's now one in the order zone. So we're actually going to swap these positions. And we're just going to assume our opponent doesn't check any defensives for this to look impressive. No, I had it right the first time. Sometimes I don't read my cards, and it's fine. We're going to swing. Oh, look, they don't get anything. I have a standing maelstrom. Cool. Do it again. All right, that's two attacks. Hey, look, back row... At the end of the battle, your rear guard in the same column as this unit attacked. If you got a vanguard with Maelstrom, I do. Counter blast one. Oh, look, they swapped positions. Now, assuming if they got one, we'll try to check good things. Heal trigger, nice. Uh, yeah, we're going to heal the glory out. We'll swing at a rear guard. Uh, that's basically uh, just my terrible luck in this game. But let me actually show what I was talking about. There we go. <clears throat> uh, you can use Brave Shooter uh, if you want an intercept after this. So it would look like this instead. But we are going with the funnier and 
kind of a little bit more strategic one. So we are going to do all the math. We're going to pretend we have two. They were already set, so I don't get any of the call or plus 5k. Assume this is just what happened. During your turn, if your rear or soul have a blue star maelstrom, I do. This unit gets all of their act abilities. So I get the discarded card from their hand, choose a unit with only Aqua Force for its clan or tear dragon from your soul, call it a rear. I can counter blast one and I can restand. Neato. All right. But also, all your front row units get 5k for each male. So we are getting plus 10 to this row. Persona ride, basically. Cheap mans. So you get a lot of favorability of how you attack. If you want, you can swing 28 first. We're not going to do that. But of course, the once per turn, we're going to discard a card from hand. Hey, look. Title Assault. You get a swing again. So we swing first. That activates over here, which gives it another plus five until end of turn. This can be very helpful because, hey, we're going to now activate this effect. Counter Blast 1. Restand. Swing again. Counter Blast 1. Restand. Not yet. We're going to swing. This gets plus 5k. Because, you know, attacks. Gets 5k. And look, title swung the first time, second, third. It's now the fourth battle. So I get a draw a card and one of my opponent's rare guard is retired. All right. That's cool. Now we swing. We soul blast anything. I bought decked it, but it's fine. We can now switch these two positions. Give it back its power. Oh, hey, look. My Vanguard swings. I can give it the Restrict because it is a Maelstrom. But let's just say they... We know they don't have a PG or something, but... Check one. Check two. Swing. It gets another five. I draw another card. And I can rest these just to say, no PG. You gotta hard guard it. So you might have been able to stop my Vanguard, but if you're at five, this pressure is so, so unbelievably good. Now, I know this video is a bit longer because it's... I'm very passionate about Stokea. If you haven't seen from my attire, haven't seen from my love of Aqua Force. Now, I probably did something wrong in this. But that's because I need to slow down a bit more and read cards and remember things. But that's hard for me. Especially when I'm in the mood. When I'm in it. But if you made it past my ramblings, thank you. Please pick up Glory Maelstrom. Please. It's so cool. And see you in the next video.